So today we're going to talk about Kitchener Stitch, which is a great way to invisibly graft two pieces of knitting together. In this case, you would use the tail of your yarn that you have left at the end of your project, but today we are going to use a contrasting yarn so that you can see it a little bit better. You want to hold your pieces of knitting with the wrong sides together, that's the purl sides. You want to have your needles parallel to each other, and you want to have the same number of stitches on each of your knitting needles. So if you have 10 stitches on this needle, you want to have 10 stitches on that needle because we're going to be working the stitches together in pairs. Next you cut your working yarn so that you can thread it through a tapestry needle or a yarn needle. And you need to leave the tail of your yarn about two to three times the width of your project. There's two steps you need to do to set up Kitchener Stitch. The first is to put the needle into the first stitch on the front needle as if you were going to purl it. So put it in purlwise, pull the yarn through, and then leave that stitch on the needle. The second step is putting the tapestry needle into the first stitch of the back knitting needle as if you were going to knit it. Pull the yarn through, and then again, leave that stitch on the needle. That's it for setting it up. You just give it a little tug and you're ready to move on to the repeating steps of Kitchener. You're going to stick the tapestry needle into the stitch as if you were going to knit. You knock that stitch off the needle and pull the yarn through. Next, you take the tapestry needle and hold it as if you were going to purl the stitch. Stick it through, pull the yarn through, but you leave that stitch on the needle. The third step is to put the needle into the first stitch on the back needle as if you were going to purl. You knock that stitch off of the needle and pull the yarn through. Next, stick the tapestry needle into that next stitch as if you were going to knit it. Pull the yarn through and leave that stitch on the needle. And so you repeat those same steps over and over again until you get to the end of your project. Knit off, purlwise, leave it on, purlwise off, Knitwise, leave it on. After every few stitches, you want to look at your work because you have the opportunity to fix the tension of it. So see how the stitches are a little bit loose and don't exactly match the gauge of what I was working on. You can just take your tapestry needle and start from the right side and give each of those stitches that you created a little tug. And that tightens up your Kitchener stitch just enough to match the gauge of your project. So when you've reached your final two stitches of your project, you just need to finish these two off. So you're going to insert the tapestry needle knitwise and drop that stitch off, pull the yarn through, and then you're gonna insert the tapestry needle into that last stitch, purlwise, and pull the yarn through. When you're done and have worked all of your stitches, you'll see that you have created what looks like a row of knitting. And if this was green yarn, it would be completely invisible. <laughs>